What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Guys, a few weeks ago, I did a collaboration with George Macon, and we talked about a very interesting topic. Uh, which is called why black men need to stop calling Russell Wilson a simp for Marion C era. Okay. And if you go look at that video, it was done last month, uh, over 15,000 views it was really, uh, active in the comment section. And his argument was that, listen, you know, she made a mistake. Russell Wilson, has, uh, you know, made her into an honest woman. She was very successful before she met him. So we need to stop um, criticizing him for being with her, even though she has uh, a spotty past. And, I mean, it's it's some good points that, you know, I, I can't disagree with on some levels. But this recent article on Madame Noir is uh, astounding to me because she says, get you a God-fearing man. Right, because Sierra and Russell Wilson in worship is giving us all the feels, and I find that interesting because I think that George would argue like, "Hey, as a baby mama, Sierra is trying to teach women not to make her bad mistakes because you know dealing with the bad boys is just not a good look. Get you a man that loves the Lord." And I can understand her position, but let me just talk about this. And many black men understand this, that dating black women in America, no matter what the age group is, um, what are the what are the characteristics that they're going to want to know if they really want to take you serious? Doesn't matter if you're an educated man. Doesn't matter if you're Pookie and Ray Ray. Do you love the Lord? Do you fear God? Every, every guy is going to say yes. Okay. And I know there, and she's talking about, you know, Sierra, because Russell Wilson was doing this post-workout praise and they're playing Mary Mary in the background. And, you know, they, you know, he puts God first in his marriage and stuff like that. But every black woman is going to say that she wants a man who fears God. Every woman that believes in Christianity always says this. What are we talking about? Are we talking about getting you a God-fearing man and you can worship God together? Or is it getting a God-fearing man that you're very attracted to? Or, 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 or what do you really mean? See, all of that doesn't really say anything because because a man that's God-fearing, that don't mean that that turns you on. I mean, obviously, religion doesn't turn people on, but that's not a quality that a lot of women are looking for in the black community. Okay. Because, you know, Sierra is, he wanted a woman that was a woman of faith, independent, who would love him like his mother loves him. All that, all that good stuff. But we know in America, when women say they want a God-fearing man, that they don't really mean that. Okay? What I believe women are looking for is a man that they are attracted to for whatever his qualities may be, that they can convert into what they want him to be. That's really what we're looking for. And, and, and a lot of ladies are looking for a guy that has the sexual qualities, whether it's the swag, whether it's these other things. And then we're going to deal with this whole situation of girl, I can change him into being a God fearing man. Okay. Because if being a God fearing man and being a, a guy that was a husband of faith, could get you good looking, good, good looking black women, then you will see more black men at church. I'm gonna tell you why you don't see a lot of black men at church because being a God fearing man ain't gonna get you nothing in the black community. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Being a man that is God fearing, that worships God, as in the in, 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 I guess in the ideas that they do, we have to understand also too. The way that the way that men believe in worshiping God and the way that women believe in worshiping God are two different ideologies. 
I have to respond to uh, the great pastor Coates who came on and talked about why black men aren't going to church. I'm going to do that one later on tonight. But when black men worship God, we don't do so in the emotions that women do. We look for God for practical strength. Meaning that when men look at God, we look at God as an example of God giving us the ability to do things. We're looking at the rules that the God has set that, that control society that we should abide by. We look at the respect of, you know, all of these things that we know that we may come forth on. We look at the um, commandments are enforcing more of those. We look at the covenant that, that man has with the rules or ideologies of the scripture. We don't look at it as from a, an emotional standpoint. You know, whereas women worship God, they don't worship God in, for the rules. It's more about how they feel. They look at the more of a, a miraculous ideologies or um, the, the, the things that God may do that's a little bit uncanny, if you will. The, the things that he, that, that he does that are not so understood that happen that are not as practical. Some of the, you know, maybe things that we may consider to be illogical of the miracles that God may do. Women look more or less for those things in comparison to men. So when you say that God, a man that's God fearing, a man that's God fearing is going to be a guy that really holds you accountable and not allow you to do what you're going to do. And we know that women don't want to do that. Women don't, women don't go to, to churches that are, that are led by God fearing men, because if that's the case, then you wouldn't see women with the, in this, in, in the style of clothes they have in the worship of church service. You wouldn't see that. See, when women look for, they say they look for God-fearing men, it is, please do not hold us to what we should be as women. You can't tell women, because look at Geno Jennings out in Philadelphia. That's a good example. You can say that he's controversial, but what he's talking about, how women should conduct themselves and, and look like in church and stuff like that, women don't want to hear that, although that's what the Bible says. Women don't want to be held accountable really by a God-fearing man. What they want is a guy who's going to cater to whatever they say while using God to benefit them. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for a man to kiss their ass and say he's God-fearing and be a simp. At the same time, hopefully he looks good and gives them all their money. That is not being God-fearing. God-fearing is, 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 is abiding by the covenants as close to the scriptures that you can be, which means enforcing. And all the guys who try to do that are called what? People who are, who are, um, who are misogynistic towards women. Look at the, some of the Hebrew Israelite brothers. Misogynistic. Nation of Islam, they get that criticism too. Any man that tries to hold women to the accountability of the scriptures are being misogynistic. But if you let them come in there with the weaves, let them come in there with the half-top dresses, let them come in there like they're going to the club, and then you say this guy is God-fearing, then this is they're going to have a it's, – it's fine. Women don't really want a God-fearing man, number one. And if it's not a guy that's in church, they're going to always ask you to believe in God. They want a guy, and most of them don't read the Bible, don't study the Bible, don't know any of the scriptures of them. Talk to most women about reading the scriptures. They don't know. Who wrote the four gospels? The disciples? Wrong. They, they, they have no investment, for the most part, in the, in the understanding of why. Thessalonians was written. Why? Paul of Patmos um, was writing Revelations. Why? They don't know. They don't under, it, it's not about the theoretical understanding of why the writer wrote the text. It's about, oh, he wrote the text. I want to feel good about it. And a lot of black men are, are tired when you, you, you hear about it, talking about you want a God for a man. It's like, do you really want that? Do you really want me to be the man that God called me to be over, you know, really to lead you? You don't want that. You're going, you're going to be upset. You cannot have be a God-fearing man in the time of 2021 and women respect it. 
So this is the reason why they want the Pookies and Ray Rich. It's okay for them to say, I believe in God. They want guys to say, I believe in God, but guys who don't actually put forth the effort to do it. They're looking for a guy who says, I believe in God. I'm going to provide the money for you and not criticize you. That's what they're looking for as a God-fearing man. And in my the books of the Bible, that guy will be going to hell. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. Check out the Patreon. And as you know, the buffoonery made at an all-time high.